So today is um, Good Friday. Um, we're going to be having a little look at the events that happened on Good Friday. But just before we get to that point, um, let's remember what happened the evening before. So the evening before Jesus had met with his friends, with the disciples, they'd had a special meal together. Um, and Jesus had been talking um, about having to go away for a while. And the disciples didn't really understand what it was that Jesus meant. But later that evening, um, Jesus was arrested. And that leads us into our story for Good Friday. So I'm going to read to you the events of Good Friday from the Easter story by J. John. Early on the Friday morning, Jesus was brought in front of the religious leaders. They accused him of saying wrong things about God and of claiming to be God's king. Jesus told them that he was indeed God's king. That made the religious leaders angry and they sent Jesus to the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate, a man who had the power to put Jesus to death. Pontius Pilate soon decided that Jesus was innocent and should be set free, but the religious leaders and a crowd that had gathered demanded that Jesus be killed. The Roman punishment for their enemies was crucifixion, being nailed to a cross made from pieces of wood and left to die. Hoping that he could save Jesus from being crucified, Pilate had him beaten by the soldiers. It wasn't enough for the crowd. Crucify him, they shouted. In the end, Pilate ordered that Jesus should be put to death. Now the story gets as sad as any story can be. Jesus was taken away to a place where everybody could see him and he was nailed to a cross. Crowds gathered around the cross and people laughed and joked about Jesus in the cruelest way. Where were Jesus' disciples at this horrible time? Sadly, almost all of them had run away. But some of the women who had followed him stayed to watch what happened. As Jesus began to die, an awful darkness fell across the land. It was as if day had become night. It was like Jesus was grabbing hold of every evil and horrible thing in the world and taking it into himself. Finally, Jesus died. As he did, the great curtain in the temple that separated the place where God lived from everybody else was ripped apart by some invisible force. It was a sign that Jesus had made a way to God for everybody. The sacrifices in the temple were never going to be needed again. As the sun began to set, Jesus' body was taken by a good religious leader and wrapped in cloth and taken to a private garden where he was put in a tomb that was like a cave. The tomb was closed by a big, heavy stone. Meanwhile, Pontius Pilate ordered soldiers to stand guard around the tomb in case Jesus' body was stolen. Night fell. That was the end of Good Friday. Now, when God made the world, he designed it so that God and us, people and God, could be friends, so we could be close. But the Bible talks about this thing called sin. That is the things that we do wrong. And sin separates us from God. It's like a barrier around us. But when Jesus died on the cross, he did something incredible and I've got a bit of an experiment set up here so we can see that. So for our experiment we're going to say um, Jesus is like our candle. We've got us here represented by the coin and we've got, let me just light our candle, there we go. Excellent. So we've got Jesus, the candle, we've got us, the coin, and we've got our sin, which surrounds us. And that's going to be represented here by this water. There 
There we go. So we've got Jesus, we've got us, and we've got our sin. And as you can see, our sin surrounds us. But when Jesus died on the cross, well, let's see. Let's see what happened. There we have it. I hope you could see that on the camera. When Jesus died, just like when the candle here went out, Jesus took all of our sin on him, meaning that if we choose to, we can be friends with God again. And that's why Jesus had to die. It was part of God's plan for humans and God to be friends again. And on Good Friday, Christians remember that Jesus made a sacrifice for us, that he died for us so that we could have a relationship with God. And Jesus didn't just die for grown-ups or for um, special people. He died for everyone. He died for you. I wonder how that makes you feel. Maybe you want to think about that just while we share, say a um, short prayer. So let's pray together. Dear God, I thank you so much for the sacrifice that you made when Jesus died on the cross. I can't imagine how hard that must have been. Thank you that you love me so much that you did that for me. I'm sorry for times when I make bad choices or, um, or do things that make you sad. Help me to want to do the right thing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Now, as you know, Good Friday is not the end of the story. So um, watch out for another video and perhaps even another experiment on Sunday. See you then.